So right now, I'm on a boat. Back on a boat. I left my van in Montana. And I'm back on the boat for like a, a month or so. But uh, I'm not actually on our boat. As similar as it might look, I'm on Carlos Pena Vega's boat. This is his son. What do you think? Uh, what? What do you have to say to you two? Um, hi all you fans. He's media trained. <laughs> He's media trained. <laughs> Bro, you're like a freaking social media guru. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh my god. <laughs> Workout. Come on! Did you get that? So this is my good friend Carlos Pena Vega. Pena Vega. Pena Vega. Penas yeah. Vega. No. <laughs> no that you cannot put that in. You're family in. friendly. No, no, put it in. I'm putting Family it in. friendly content here, guys. <laughs> okay, so we are on a privileged 615. Uh, you guys have a 585. Yeah. So we're 615, so we're 61 and a half feet. So we're a little bit, a little bit longer, but the same width, 31 yeah. feet. Um, and uh, yeah, she's a, a 2007, and I, I got her two and a half years ago, and been refitting her. It's been fun. And, Exciting, but it, it, my my dream of sailing was a little premature. But I was inspired by your yeah. family, yeah. hundred percent inspired by your family. So. It's super, it's super similar to our boat, actually. A lot, it's it's very similar. Does y'all get this messy with lines though? Uh, when no, we're we're a little better at sailing, yeah, yeah, actually, yeah. Carlos. You're not a very good sailor. Well, your sailing's a you're not a very good. <laughs> Anyways, here's a little boat tour for all you boat gurus. Okay, so on sailing vessel Alexa, uh, I named the boat after my first wife. Um, basically, we have five cabins, but a six cabin if you count the captain's peak. And we have how many heads on here? Was one, five, four or five heads? Too one, many. two, three, <laughs> five heads. Four with full showers and one with like a half shower. <laughs> a galley. Basically, got everything. Six fridges and freezers, and full-size washer and dryer. It's literally ready to go. Basically, my, my family and I bought this boat uh, two and a half years ago. We've been fixing it up in hopes to sail alongside Sailing Zatario, but uh, plans basically changed. Hey, Luke. Plans basically changed, and we are now, uh, we moved to Tennessee, and it's time to get rid of the boat. Our kids are just a little too young. Uh, so what we're doing here today is a complete sea trial, and the, and the kids of Sailing Zatara have come to help uh, man the boat, which I'm so thankful for because, oh man, today's giving me a lot of stress. Oh, hey man, <laughs> thank you, thank you. But hey, afterwards, I'm gonna come to your boat, and we're gonna have some fun. Yeah. Anyways, that, that's that's pretty much the that's yeah. pretty much you guys, the Carlos, actually, you guys you killed me. Y'all, y'all kill me with the boat. That's the scoop of the boat. They were if you want to buy it, you can check it out if it's not sold already. This isn't meant to be like a sale, but you know, if it's still available, we might as well check it out. Anyways, it's a pretty clean boat. <laughs> I'm just trying, I'm trying. <laughs> Luke's trying to vlog. Luke's trying to vlog, and I'm trying to vlog at the same time. <laughs> Carlos, I'm trying to video. Oh my god. Go no away. This is where my room would be. Although it's not my room, it's Baruch's room. Yeah, it's a little different. A little different. But yeah, I suppose it's pretty sexy, pretty clean. So we're gonna drive up back to the boat today. We're gonna relax and then something pretty neat's happening over the next few days. Super out of my comfort zone. Stay tuned to see what that's all about. He's becoming a prostitute stripper. What? Hey, is... No, go here to see his OnlyFans. Oh. Is this... well, hello, it's the next day and I'm back on the boat in my room. Over these last few days, we've been sitting here in this marina getting boat work done. We had the engines taken out because we are getting new ones, which is Pretty exciting. And yeah, tomorrow morning, me and Luke are going on a three day backpacking trip into the heart of the Everglades. And I have got a lot of stuff. I gotta figure out how to pack my bag. And I'm gonna do that right now. I'm not really a backpacker. I just sounded fun to hike through the Everglades. This is so different to anything I've done before. 
I'm an ocean man, not an alligator. So I'm not quite sure if this will appeal to you ocean-loving people, since it is so very different to what I usually do. And y'all might say, Finn, don't worry about what people think, just post what makes you happy. And as much as I agree with that, I have to care about what I post. When you guys watch my videos, that's literally my income. Without y'all, I wouldn't be able to financially support myself. I'm not begging for y'all to watch my videos, but if you do watch and you enjoy them, Please let me know with a comment. I truly appreciate you guys finding entertainment out of what I create and put on YouTube. Well, I've kind of got the majority of my stuff packed. Uh, you might wonder how I have backpacking gear like this sleeping pad and, and my sleeping bag and just some other stuff like this water filter. Well, thanks to Amazon, I was able to get this stuff. They're not sponsoring me, nor is Carlos after that pretty neat boat tour I did. No one's sponsoring me. I don't have sponsors. I'm just genuine. I'm a genuine, 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 genuinity. Anyways, yeah, I'm gonna go backpacking. So we're waking up early in the morning and we're driving out there. So I'll catch you back up with you in the morning. Let's go. It's a lot of stuff. Let's go. McKinsey and Jack went with us because they're gonna bring the truck back because it's an hour and a half out here. You excited? Dude, this is gonna be hype. Uh, Just getting our last minute chores, Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A! Hey! Yeah! There we go. Let's go, guys. <laughs> if someone asked me the definition of America, I would say Chick-fil-A. No, no, no. Look at that, right the there. definition of <laughs> the definition of happiness is Chick-fil-A. Oh yeah. Yeah. For sure. This is what makes America great. Oh yeah. Oh man, dude, this is the plains of Florida. We're in the Everglades. This is crazy. We just made it to the southern terminus. That's where we depart from. Getting nervous. Oh. Like eight years old. So right now we are putting on our gators. These are to prevent mud and potential snakes. I don't think snakes. They're are gonna do nothing for snakes. Nothing for snakes, <laughs> but mud is gonna be less likely to. We got him because we look like we know what we're doing. Do we though? We don't. Okay. Yeah, dude. Oh man. Oh, 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 oh looks good. Man, dude. I do not look. These don't look as good as those two on you. <laughs> 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 Out of my ears! What are these? What are those? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Full pack weight. Where are you First going? time feeling it. A little bit heavier than I wanted. Probably rocking around 30 pounds, 35 maybe. <sighs> <laughs> I'm probably about the same weight as Luke. We are ready to backpack the Florida Everglades. How many days are you hiking for, man? Just four up to 75. Yeah, just up to 75, but... Four days? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's supposed to be underwater, that's what I've heard, huh? Is yeah. it? Yeah. yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Bet. That guy just talked to us and he was like, it's mostly underwater. Fellow local, worried <laughs> for our lives. <laughs> Ha! We're ready to go! <laughs> Let's go! Okay, see you guys! Yo. See ya! Bye, McKenzie! So we're gonna be gone for about four days. So we get back Monday, they're gonna come pick us up Monday. Uh, we're hiking about 30 miles, that's the goal. 10 miles a day. It's not that much, but we're gonna be through water the whole time, which is crazy. Hey, look at that. Yeah, oh man, we've made it to our first water crossing. There's a lot of this. Oh, it's gonna it's, be... This is gonna be oh, all. Of... So... Oh, you made it. Oh, <laughs> this is terrible. <laughs> Waiting through water. <laughs> so crazy. <laughs> oh, bro. Not supposed to. Oh. 
me and Finn were saying how this feels like when a kid walks through a puddle and they're not supposed to. We just feel like we shouldn't be doing this, but it's the trail. I just gotta look out for snakes on the edges of these things because they like to be next to water and that's what we're walking through. Monkey, 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 man, monkey, monkey, man. <laughs> I am walking like at an angle because when you walk with a 30 pound backpack on for <laughs> a full day, you know, you sort of develop this. I'm so tired. Yeah. Dude, I am tired. But 10 mile camp. Let's go. <sighs> we definitely bit off more than we could chew with this little hike. There's just so much mud. So slushy. Due to this mud and water mixture, we are not able to maintain a very fast pace. We can go at a mile and a half. Dude. Mile and a half an hour, right? Like, yeah. mile and a half. Way slower than we thought. Oh man. Or we might be in for it. <laughs> <laughs> holy, holy uh, I tell you what though, we are very excited to relax this evening. Get the tent set up and eat some dinner. Dinner, dinner. Yeah. Nothing better than a warm meal after a long hike. <laughs> Copied him. That is exactly what I just said. <laughs> All right, we're going to eat our meters. We're going to eat we're our gonna eat our meters, dinners, whatever and, it's uh, called. <gasps> <laughs> Bro, I thought this mat was bigger. Than... <laughs> Bro. Oh, man, it's been a long day. Been a long day. My shoulder, my uh, pack was like wrecking it. And I didn't realize and now it's like so tight. We're gonna be doing some good stretching yoga-ish type stuff soon and in the morning. But it's so pretty out here. Like no one's out here, it's just us. But we're about alligator. to get alligator. Alligator. Maybe tomorrow we'll see an alligator. Hopefully. I don't know. That's kinda scary. So me and Luke are in the tent right now. It's about 8 30. About to hit the sack because we're pretty tired and that sleep, you know, it means everything when you're out here. Um, wake up pretty early and get hiking again. Get hiking. Dude, we're stoked. We had a good campfire. Yeah. yeah, it was awesome tonight. It was rejuvenating from the trail. Yeah. All right, well, we'll catch y'all. Catch you soon. So on day two of this long and tough hike, we are trudging through the same water mud mixture as yesterday. So it's pretty much just a whole lot of this. Walking through this itty bitty path. Right now it's great. There's rocks underneath our feet, but typically it's muddy, um, which sucks. And it takes a lot more effort and energy and you travel a lot slower. So it's been uh, an adventure, all right going though. I'm definitely not doing a great job at capturing how challenging this trail really is, but it's it's kicking our butts. We're both physically and mentally drained. Our bodies definitely do not like this trail. <laughs> Since all we're doing is walking though, I figured I'd leave the boring parts out and just give you a quick recap of what we did today. So first, we saw some soft shell turtles, which was super neat. First time I've ever seen that kind of turtle. We took an hour rest at 13 mile camp, which was much needed. So right now me and Luke are camp. dead. We're dead. <laughs> we did seven miles this morning in like four hours. Ugh. We uh we got out our mat and kind of like micro, micro, micro nap. Micro nap. <laughs> yeah, we gotta get to Oak Hill camp tonight and then tomorrow we're hiking just a little bit more and we might hike all the way to the road tomorrow. 
depends how we feel, depends what time. Wait, does your does your audience know that you literally hiked with no shorts and just a shirt in the Everglades? Hopefully the chafing stops. Do a little dance with your legs. Dude, I had chafing going bad. I had to take my shorts off. I'm going to take them off again. <laughs> you can see here we've run into a snake, and this is one of many. This one just happens to not be very happy with us. Man, he is pissed. And lastly, we ended up hiking twice as far as we did yesterday, which is great. So me and Luke made it to Oak Hill Camp this evening. After a lot and a lot of wading through water, like the water just all of a sudden got super deep. It was like knee deep the whole time, like two, three miles almost. And we set up these logs and we used these two pads and we got like a little couch. Because we're very tired, we got this fire going. Hung our stuff out. We did like 13 miles today, which was pretty great. And we did 10 the day before, so we're at like 23. And we have to do seven, although tomorrow it's in water the whole day. So. We are going to be pretty tired by long. next day. All day long. So three days, three nights, we'll be out here. Last night, we slept like a bug in a rug, and this morning, we're out early on the trail. We only have to hike about seven miles to the end of the trail today, but the conditions of the trail have gotten a lot harder than the past two days. For instance, it's a lot more muddy, and the water level is a lot higher, so we are going a lot slower. <laughs> Bro, it's so muddy right there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, my feet are <laughs> So we just stopped at a uh, Pine Island, one of the few that are out here on this trail, and it's, this trail has got gotten to us. <laughs> Who does this? <laughs> I'm losing my mind. <laughs> it's just straight walking through mud and water. <laughs> so we just had lunch and got right back on the trail. My heart rate's like beating right now. <laughs> and we're coming up and I see an alligator right on the trail. Look at this thing. There he is. Only on the Florida trail will you see a gator on your path. This is insane. Heart rate's still beating right now though. So we're on dry land, finally. I don't know how long this is gonna last. Probably not long, but we just saw an alligator and he was in the middle of our trail. It's pretty spooky. Crazy. Unfortunately, I couldn't get it on film because the angle of the lighting was just not great on the water. And that was pretty sweet. That was insane. We've gone from seeing some cotton mouths to alligators, snapping turtles, snapping turtles, alligator gar, just all sorts of stuff out here. But we're soon to be done. Out here on the Florida Trail. Florida Trail. We've got about a mile and a half left. So we'll see you soon. Let's get this done. Hopefully no more gators. Hopefully no more. Maybe, yeah, I'd like to see one. Dude, they got so close. <laughs> if I didn't have my polarized glasses on, the glare from the water would have totally covered them up. Like, could have stepped on them. All right, we'll see you guys later. Yeah! This is the ending of the trail. It's not as cool as I thought it would be. It's not the ending you oh, want man. for on a three-day hike. But, <laughs> but we started two days ago, and we ended it today. We started Friday, and we ended it Saturday. I was 405. Oh, we ended up, we started Thursday. That was like three full days. Woo! Dang! Let's go! Let's get to this gate. They're just like locked in. No. Woo! Let's go! Yeah! Dude. So Jack and McKinsey came and picked us up. It was hard. It was like real hard. Is it really bad? Oh, it was pretty bad. And just like that, I have had my fair share of the Everglades. You don't know what to do. We're gonna drive a little bit around here, see some alligators and whatnot, and then call it a day. I'm I've had I've had enough 
of this swamp, I'll tell you what. At the end of the day, though, it was super fun, and, you know, I'm super glad Luke and I decided to go on this gnarly adventure. <laughs> Look at the little baby alligators. Aww. This is a reenactment if we saw a snake. Hey, get my feet to the foot. Careless, fancy free. Get my knees to the needy. Honey, don't you hold none of that shit on me. Well, I have it down. Oh my god. Whoa, dude. So hard to keep up with you, man. Yo, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye. Adios. I got a fart. Dude, he's been farting. Guys, he's been farting way too much. Oh. It smells terrible. Every